with 2018 just selling in, there are already plenty of games to look forward to. Now, if you're looking to push your PC or console's graphical limits, look no further, as we've rounded up these 18 graphically beautiful games. Here are our top picks in no particular order. You got some money for me, boy? I've seen your name in our ledger. First on the list is the hotly anticipated open world western game Red Dead Redemption 2. While not much official gameplay is out just yet, there is still plenty to see. The world looks huge and beautiful with its dynamic weather, snowy mountains, and open plains. This time around, we'll be in the boots of Arthur Morgan and the Vanderlyn gang as they rob and steal to survive in the wild American West. While Red Dead 2 looks to have much brighter environments from its trailer, we can still expect a true gritty cowboy story. Finished mourning your father. I'll keep her in black on your behalf. I am your father, and you are my children. From the old west to modern day America, Far Cry 5 takes us to the sunny outback Montana with its huge farm fields, forests, and towns riddled with enemies to take down. Expect plenty of jaw-dropping natural wonders and man-made disasters to be had. You'll even find a trusty canine companion and probably blow up a bear or two with a friend on co-op. For you are my children and I am your father! Monster Hunter is back and it's roaring louder than ever in its upcoming title, Monster Hunter World. Not only does the game look and feel bigger, the familiar monsters are back and look just as terrifying as always. Iconic maps such as the lush jungles, deep caverns, and deserts are more detailed and you'll want to pay attention to these things to make the most out of your hunts. Monster Hunter World will be releasing on the PlayStation 4 on January 26th. If you could just bring them back. Anything you need. Anthem is BioWare's latest title that features, you guessed it, an open world with soldiers in Iron Man-like power suits. The trailer shows off a beautiful planet that's filled with alien greenery and explorable ruins. Dynamic events called Shaper Storms look terrifying and mysterious. Luckily, you won't have to go in alone. You and three other friends can brave the unknown together in cooperative play and work together using your own suit's unique abilities such as rocket barrages and the iconic superhero landing slam. Our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man swings into his modern-day debut for the PlayStation 4. Sporting a very sleek-looking suit and marvelous gadgets, this Spidey looks to deliver not only a cooler-looking wall crawler, but also a more robust and exciting gameplay. With both Peter Parker and Miles Morales shown in the trailer, it will be quite interesting to see where Marvel takes us to in the story. The new villain also looks to be quite a handful. Combined with a swingable, lovely-looking city and many exciting encounters makes this game a real standout for 2018. Look out, here comes the Spider-Man. Maybe the city needs our friend more than you think. <laughs> Hello, brother. Back from the dead and breathing life anew, Darksiders 3 is back to continue the epic story of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Coming in bigger and better, the newest character to the franchise is Fury, bringer of pain and sister to war. The many surroundings in the game have been reworked to reintroduce us to the hellspawn infested cities in a creepier and darker way that ups the tone from its predecessors. Expect to battle all manner of demons and devils as Fury makes her move against the seven deadly sins. I remember when we lived by a code. Brotherhood meant something, and living meant more than surviving. Days Gone is a different kind of zombie story. The world is overrun with freakers, mindless zombie-like creatures that rapidly evolve. The main character, Deacon St. John, is a drifter who prefers the dangers of the open road with a motorcycle instead of staying put. Naturally, this puts him in all kinds of different problems. The day-night cycle in the game also adds a layer of atmosphere that's both nerve-wracking and unsettling as you make your way through thick forests and lonely-looking roads. Gameplay is also affected with this as the undead moves slower in the day but more aggressively in the night. 
This gives the world a very naturally evolving feel and amplifies the immersive looking world even more. Now I'm a drifter, a bounty hunter. Emerging from the underground comes Metro Exodus, the third installment in the series of the dark, post-apocalyptic world set in the year 2036. The reveal trailer from last year's E3 looks astoundingly dark as we journey with Artyom from the depths of the Metro and face off against hideous monsters before emerging to a depressing view of an overgrown train depot. The combination of improved graphics and lighting effects brings the dystopian feel of the world to life and will have you clinging on to your precious ammo even tighter for what's to come. I spent my life taking orders! Now it's my turn to decide. Detroit Become Human continues in the enthralling and captivating storytelling style of Quantic Dream. With an overarching plot that revolves around three androids, the way the story unfolds is based entirely on your decisions. Characters may perish or survive, and the outcome of the game's ending will reflect on every choice made. Made entirely on a new engine, if the story doesn't hook you, the look of the world will definitely keep your eyes glued to the screen, with its neo-sci-fi look and gorgeous looking facial capture that really brings the characters to life. You lied to me, Connor. You lied to me. What are you doing, kiddo? Picking up five years after the first game, Naughty Dog continues the tale of Joel and Ellie in the bleak world of zombies with The Last of Us Part 2. Contrasting with the theme of love in the first installment, the sequel centers more on hate, and from the trailer, it seems as though Ellie will be exploring quite a bit of that. The first one showed us all four seasons of the year, with gorgeous looking forests, deserted cities, and tense, dark moments of the undead. We can expect more of that in the upcoming sequel. Every last one of them. Henry! Get up now! There's work to be done. Kingdom Come Deliverance is an ambitious title that puts players in the medieval kingdom of Bohemia, an imperial state of the Roman Empire. Featuring period-accurate armors, clothing, and sword-fighting techniques with real-world castles, there is plenty for the history lover to find in full detail. Expect to take part in large-scale battles, or just live the simple life in this picturesque medieval simulator that not only looks the part, but aims to play it well. Just be careful which helmet you pick. I am hungry. Feed us. Kratos returns with a breathtaking trailer from last year's E3 that shows the Spartan mentoring his son in the ways of a warrior, revealing the new Nordic landscapes as well as the many battles that are to come. Changing up the style of an arcade beat-em-up look from its predecessors, the new God of War zooms in closer to the action, delivering an even more amazing spectacle of violent battles and environments. Be prepared to face plenty of nasty enemies, such as the Draugr, Yetis, and Giants in this sequel. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. Originally on the PlayStation 2, then remade for the PlayStation 3, and now being remastered for a high-definition remake on the PlayStation 4, Shadow of the Colossus, the game, seems to have traveled as far as Wander himself had to to rescue his beloved. Bluepoint Games is rebuilding the game's assets from the ground up to showcase the alluring, minimalistic environment designs that have captivated players from around the world and sets to do so again with its next incarnation. Sequel to the 2014 hit racing game, The Crew 2 brings more to the table compared to its predecessor and then some. Soar through the scenic cityscape, drive across arid deserts, and sail crisp waters all in an instant. Ubisoft emphasized on the graphical improvements they set out to make for The Crew 2 to let players experience a really beautiful and seamlessly open world. The Bard's Tale 4 comes back to life after a successful Kickstarter campaign, with this being the first official installment after two decades. 
Set in first-person mode, the game has been widely lauded for its beautiful environments and detailed intricate monster design. Fun fact, the textures for 3D modeling were done with photogrammetry. Fans and dungeon crawlers can expect Bard's Tale 4 to sing its way to the PC later this year. Ori and the Will of the Wisps is a sequel to the popular Ori and the Blind Forest that was released back in 2015. Continuing the story of the titular White Guardian Spirit, we revisit the sad but colorful forests of Nibel and the world beyond it. With an art style that is reminiscent of a painting, the challenging and ghostly environments will keep you entranced along with its equally haunting soundtrack. In Concrete Genie, we meet Ash, a teen troubled by bullies, who one day comes across a magical quill that helps bring his paintings come to life on the landscape of his gloomy hometown, Denska. After losing pages of his notebook during an encounter with the bullies, Ash needs to retrieve the pages using his environment-changing art powers and expansive parkour skills. Sporting some very colorful visuals and wistful looking characters, Concrete Genie looks to tug the heartstrings with its charming look that will please the imaginations of both young and old. Set in the early 19th century, the world of Hunt Showdown is a bleak wasteland set in era appropriate aesthetics and Lovecraftian horror, where darkness reigns supreme. Hunters of the Secret Society will not only have to hunt down the demonic creatures, but also compete against other hunters for the bounty. Look forward to chasing down all manner of demonic beings in the many ghastly locales and dispose of them using equally recognizable and mystical weapons. Those are our top 18 picks for the most graphically beautiful looking games, and we're excited to see more of them and their actual release later this year. Which ones are you most excited for? Tell us in the comments!